guys, it's Jen. Hope you guys are all doing well. We are in Central Florida in Kissimmee and it is an honor to be where we are today. We are at Give Kids the World Village here and <laughs> this is absolutely magical. <laughs> For those that have never heard of Give Kids the World Village, you're gonna find out about this amazing place today. Next, standing next to me is the PR manager for Give Kids the World, Miss Denny. Hi there, how are you? So glad to have you along here for this virtual tour of our amazing village, and I'm so glad that both you and Aaron are here with I'm us. I'm over here Thank too, you. just to let y'all know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. This is absolutely an honor. Uh, we have been here before with you a previous day, and we just wanted to come and honestly just do a private tour to really uh, see Give Kids a World Village on our own and kind of take it all in. And I'm so glad we did because um, it is a beautiful, magical place mm -hmm. here. And what you all do is just, it, it, it can't even, you can't even describe, you know, really in feeling what this place means. Well, and we couldn't do it without partners like you and like d donors, both corporate donors and individual donors. We have groups like neighborhood groups mm -hmm. that get together and raise funds for the village. We literally could not do what we do without the generosity of others. So That's thank awesome. you for coming thank and for helping you. to share the mission of the village. Thank you. So for those that do not know what Give Kids the World Village is, let's talk a little bit about Give Kids the World Village. Yeah. So we are 89 acres of wish granting fulfillment. So anytime that a critically ill child makes a wish to go to any of the Central Florida theme parks, you know, there's so many amazing places here, right? So anytime they say, hey, I want to go to one of those parks, they stay here at the village. We work with wish granting organizations around the world that help to make those trips happen mm -hmm. and they arrive here and even before they get to a theme park they are met with the magic of this village and we have a lot of families who just don't even realize how amazing it's going to be until they step foot here and it's so much fun watching mm -hmm. them explore and realize that this is all for them. This is amazing. Amazing and literally when you step foot in here it is magic from the moment you walk in. And so how did this start? It all started via Henry Landworth, who was a local hotelier who has, of his own right, an amazing story. He was a Holocaust survivor. Mm -hmm. And by just sheer blessing, he was able to reunite with his twin sister after the Holocaust. Um, he had adventures here in Florida from managing hotels, um, being a part of a hotel uh, staff in Miami, and then managing the Starlight Motel in Cocoa Beach. He got to be friends with Mercury 7 astronauts and Walter Cronkite, and then he um, got to manage a hotel here in Central Florida. When he was a hotelier here in Central Florida, he got looped into the fact that there are critically ill kids around the world who really want to come to the theme parks here in Central Florida for their big wish trips. Um, there was one little girl in particular, her name is Amy, who wanted to come and visit uh, the theme parks. And through red tape, whatever, um, everything was fine on Henry's end, mm -hmm. but on the other ends of things, throughout the details, things were moving slowly. And Amy passed before she was able to come uh, to experience her wish trip here in Central Florida. Henry vowed that that would never happen again. He started Give Kids the World in his hotel and then networked with other local hotels and then said, nope, we, we gotta have a place dedicated for these kids and their families. So he started the village. Um, Give Kids the World itself began in 86. Uh, 1989 is when the village came to be. We have had the privilege of having tens of thousands of families here and each and every one is unique and incredibly special. <laughs> for over 30 years they've been providing this service yes. to these families who have been in need and as a person whose family actually has taken advantage of this service, not me personally, but my nephew has gone through all this and they provided him something and my nephew 
was in remission from his leukemia after one treatment, and he still provided him with a wish and made his wish come true to take his family to Central Florida and to the theme parks here. So this this affects me directly. Mm. Sorry for the interruption, Love but... That. No, yeah. like here at the village, we like to say that, that the experience here mm -hmm. creates the happiness that inspires hope. Mm -hmm. We hear it from families all the time, Jennifer, like th they leave from here changed. Yes. They, ha they are filled with hope. This was, like you said, the trip of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And everything here at this village is catered to these amazing kids and their families mm -hmm. just to make them feel absolutely encouraged mm -hmm. and loved from ice cream for breakfast That's to awesome. a double feature <laughs> in the middle of the day uh -huh. to a ride on our train like everything is completely crafted to give the very best experience for that family while they're here. Mm -hmm. Yes, That's it's beautiful. to give these kids absolutely yeah. Yeah. the yeah. world. Yes, and they deserve it because they are the true heroes. You know, we understand why this is so important, and that's why we want to show the world why this is so important and how much this matters and all the life-changing experiences that you can do and also you can be a big part of it. This is all by donation, correct? Yes, there we could not we could not do what we do here at the village without our donors. Just like I said earlier, we are absolutely dependent on the generosity of others, whether you are a monthly donor or your organization wants to pick a charity of choice, we can be that and and we have we have just gracious donors who decide to make us that in in their corporate lives or in their individual lives and it's just incredible. Let's make sure to note you don't have to just donate monetarily. Donate yes. your time because yes. volunteers makes this all go round. Yep. This world spins via volunteers. You're Correct. exactly right, Aaron. We have seventeen hundred volunteer shifts a week. Every single week our volunteers are heroes in and of themselves and um, they are they they're locals but then there are also people on vacation who come down to the theme parks and take a day to come here and visit we also have we have people who are snowbirds who spend half of the year in one part of the country and then half of the year down here and to to volunteer at the village is like serious important business correct so. so and this is what makes this place so amazing just focusing on being positive and focus on making memories mm -hmm. lifetime memories and just putting smiles on everyone's faces yeah. so miss denny's going to go give us a tour of this amazing yes, place. let's go and we're going to go have an adventure oh, don't see my finger. Right. I'm right we're ready let's you go got we got our t-shirts on, on. All right. it doesn't get any better than that let's go have a great tour and have some fun off we go <laughs> Woo! <laughs> This is Amberville. This is where all things recreation ha uh, can get kick-started here at the village. We have recreation everywhere here, but this is for the kid who likes to push buttons and play games. It's a lot of fun. It's all about the tactile feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a lot of fun. And we got the miniature in. golf, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, right here. Have fun. So the games that you see in this room, and they are amazing. I have personally tested them myself. Um, the games have all been donated by our village partners. Again, these are companies, companies that you know, companies that you don't, but who are so generous at the very core that they donate amazing things like these games for the Wish Kids. Absolutely. And then between this and then as we pan over here, oh, a you will see. The, model train world. I don't even want to call it a set. It's a whole world. We have an amazing team of volunteers dedicated just to the design and upkeep of this train display. It turns from night to day. There are storms and all sorts of things that happen here. And we have buttons, as you can see. Uh, Jennifer, would you like to press yeah, the button sure. and see what happens? I gotta find the helicopter. There's the helicopter Over there. right there. Oh, how cool. What's another one we can press? Let's see. 
and you can see the helicopter, she pressed start, and it spins. Oh. And it tells you what everything is, so you can look out for it. So that's awesome. So you can yep. press the button, and it'll tell you, here is the cable cars. Yep, and the cable cars oh. go up and down. Oh, see the cable car right there. She pressed the cable cars, and then you oh. Yes, yes, yes. So yesterday we got to see this room. We didn't really get to play with the train set because yep. they were working on it. Yep, the but team we, was, was servicing it, making sure it was in tip-top condition. Yes, but we did get to meet one of the creators of this, which was awesome. He was an amazing guy. Thank you so much for spending time with us yesterday. And, and he and created all this. Yes. yes. And they, you could tell when they're talking to us the passion yes. that they have for not only model trains, but giving kids this experience. Let me show y'all the whole experience real quick. It's brighter now, it's daytime, yeah. so the lights just came on. And there's a night and day cycle here this to represent. This is awesome, and you get to just put, you can push all the buttons at one yeah. time. And all they encourage it. That is awesome. We also got to see the mechanics. I'm not gonna be able to show you that here, but you can see, they actually run this off a switch relay system down below this. Mm -hmm. This is actually, all built out underneath, and we're on the second floor. Look, I love it. You, know, you, you know, can literally stay in here all day. By the way, look at the Yeti. Yes. And you know, this reminds me of the train from um, Mr. Rogers' Ray neighborhood. Yes. Trolley yes. the train. You can spend all day in here. Absolutely. This is like an adult and a kid playground. For like sure. this is awesome. And then they have model trains mm -hmm. behind Aaron. That is awesome. Yep. Behind me. And it's all these trains have a history. And they go from the oldest sets of Lino trains to some of the newer ones. Mm -hmm. This is something else we were taught while you was here. And that was one of the originals, I believe, right? Yes, the these, large The bigger ones size. were the um, original sets of, of Lionel model trains. That's and right. as you got smaller, they started miniaturizing them. You could tell the history just by the size of the train. Mm -hmm. But this is one of the villas. Yes, it is. So every family here at the village gets to stay in a villa of their very own. And Jennifer, you would think that the parents might be in the primary bedroom, but yeah. not here at the village. Uh, not here. Because it's give kids the world. Exactly. The kids get yep. mm -hmm. that primary bedroom. That's and their awesome. primary bedroom has a awesome. wonderful big bath um, attached to it. Now, parents are down the hall okay. in a very lovely room. So they get their own privacy yes, too. Exactly. I love that. Boy, and, that's awesome. And our um, our villas take on different themes. They mm -hmm. all are done after different architectural wow. styles, awesome. including some villas that look like fairy tale castles, like straight up castles and cottages. Mm -hmm. so. And let me awesome. tell you, I saw one on the other side. I was like, I would like to have my house like that. It was a straight up castle. There it is. Um, there it is. And I'm like, if I had one as a kid, that would have been it. Give me the castle. And each villa has what families need for mm -hmm. the week, some Correct. of the essentials. Of mm -hmm. course, we provide all the meals for them in Cafe Clayton, which we will see in just a little bit. Hint, hint. But exactly. Mm -hmm. But the villas are fully accessible okay. and have plenty of space for a family to really set up camp That's for awesome. their time here at the village. And literally, the families walk in here and not pay a dollar. Right. It is all donations, guys. Right. Look at this, they get to go to Disney, Universal, mm -hmm. Legoland, mm -hmm. and not one cent is out of the pocket. Mm -hmm. All through donations. Yep. Okay. They wanna buy a t-shirt, that's gonna be the only, you know, anything in the memory market. They'll okay, pay for okay, that, that's the only but, exception. But that's only if they want to. That's wow. only thing. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you a quick story. When we left out of here, we had the Uber driver and the Uber just and the Uber driver was like, this must be an expensive resort you mm -hmm. guys are coming out of. Yeah, and we had to tell her, actually, we told her the whole mission of mm -hmm. Give Kids the World. Mm -hmm. And she was impressed. She was in tears. Oh, Thank yeah. you that this happened. That's a that. true story. Yeah. Well, and what you're doing is a really a, a neat and a very special and a very important thing because you are giving people who haven't been within the gates here at Give Kids the World mm -hmm. a sneak peek at what the village is really all about. Because if you haven't been here as a family or you don't volunteer Correct. here, you may just not know. So Correct. I'm so glad that you're here. And we are actually excited 
uh, because we found out that you are having your first gala out of Florida. Yes. In, where do you think, guys? New Orleans! New Orleans. It's exactly right. We're having yeah. our um, annual gala May 20th in New Orleans. Uh, Barry Kearns is an amazing village partner and he's making, he and his family are making that possible. We're really thankful for the Kern family and we can't wait to party with them in Mardi Gras Whoa. world. <laughs> so while we're talking about the gala in New Orleans, yes, anyone can come to the gala, correct? Mm -hmm. And we're going to link all the information below the website so you can purchase. We're not going to say a ticket. It's a donation. It is a donation. Be it's a fundraiser. Correct. And it's going to it's going to celebrate the, the sweets, the savory, the uh, the vibe of New Orleans. Correct. And it's, it's all good things. Yes. Let, le bon temps Let the good times roll. Oh, We're don't. definitely doing our <laughs> ending with her. Also, um, we wanted to give a shout out to Emmy. Emmy um, lives in New Orleans with us. She's an ambassador for Give Kids the World Village. So we wanted to say hi, Emmy. Hi, yeah. Sorry we didn't get to see you. I know they were here last week. Yes, they were. So we didn't get to say hi, but we will definitely see you soon. We're here outside of Julie's Safari Theater where the Wish Kids and their families can catch a double feature every day. Look at how beautiful. over here. <laughs> y'all can the popcorn. see. Popcorn, I want yeah. popcorn. And I'm gonna bring it back to the popcorn yeah. real quick Aww, and I'll put y'all back nice. in. It's a fully accessible theater, so no matter the stage ability of the kiddo, they can come in and see a movie just like everyone else. You can even get a, a little bit of popcorn because what's a movie without popcorn? Oh, for real. <laughs> We've true. got amazing volunteers. We love our popcorn. Yeah. We've got amazing volunteers who pop that popcorn for the kids. That's awesome. And the one thing we want to say too, which I forgot, everything is fully handicapped accessible. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Truly, it is a, it's a boundless village. Every kiddo can do whatever they want to. I mean, within their parents' purview, of course. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, they get, to, they get to do whatever, you know, this is all about them, remember? Yes. All about them. so excited about this place in fact we've got a team of people here at the village who are so excited about wow. this place this is going to be mayor clayton's wonder lab oh. this is going to be all things hands-on steam-based experiences oh. so for older wish kids and 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 their siblings or oh. or just anybody who for for them, it's all about science and technology. Yes. They're going to be able to have so much fun in this That's space. Awesome. So this is all going to be transformed here soon, and we just can't wait. When is it opening? Is there an if opening? We day? don't have a date yet. Okay. Wish okay. we did, but it's but we've got. There's a plan. I'll, be, I'll put it to you like this: if they allow us, they'll let us know, and we will come be yes, here for. Yes, we will. We will let you know. Because awesome. speaking of which, we've got Twinkle Hope's Rock and Spa right across here. Twinkle Hope's Rock and Spa is having a little bit of a makeover right now, and we're going to celebrate the grand opening here very, very soon. Oh, Can I say this one real quick? Yes. The spa is having a makeover. Yes. Oh, I love that. I love, I love, I love that. that. <laughs> They're having a makeover right now, and we're also oh. putting in a caregiver suite. In which case, it's going to be called Olivia's Oasis. That very the nice. caregivers can come so in and through the generous donation of others, our amazing village partners, those, those moms, those dads, those grandmas and grandpas, aunts and uncles get to come in and be pampered for a little bit. Awesome. We're, we've got massage chairs and a little bit of everything in there for them. Yes. Um, and they're going to be able to, to feel really rejuvenated and restored even as their wish kids get temporary tattoos Aww. and crazy hair Aww. and nail polish in the rock and spot. That's true, Ooh. and not even the kids, the parents are the heroes too. Absolutely. Yeah. Coming up right here on the end of the building, just across the way is the chapel. Um, it, at first, we weren't gonna have a chapel here at the village, but the families really wanted a place to, to be able to stop mm -hmm. and contemplate, just to have a little bit of quiet. Yeah. It's a beautiful non-denominational space, and we've even had weddings inside. It's Aww. just the See, perfect that's quiet beautiful. spot. I would've got married here. Right? Yes, <laughs> yes. We, we got definitely would've here. got married here, yeah. for sure. Um, for sure. You know, if we were eligible, we're not eligible, but you wanna know something? <laughs> mm -hmm. If we were eligible, we definitely would've. Would've. It would've, it would've been 
an honor to go. <laughs> we now have Henry's Starlight Scoops, which personally is my favorite place here at the village. And why is that? Well, because it's all about ice cream, Aaron. You scream, we scream, we, <laughs> we all, all scream. scream for ice, ice cream. cream. There you That's go. Exactly right. So kids and their families can come here from morning until night and get a little bit of ice cream or a whole lot of ice cream. Henry Starlight Scoops pays homage to Henry Landworth, our founder, Aww. and the hotel That's that beautiful. he managed mm -hmm. in Cocoa Beach, where all of the Mercury 7 astronauts were housed during the preparation for mm -hmm. their mission. Oh, wow. They were his dear friends. Just an amazing experience oh. in his life. And we have a little bit of Cocoa Beach here with us in the middle of the village. It's just, it's a magnificent place where truly you can have ice cream for breakfast That's if you awesome. want it. So. Welcome to Starlight Scoops. It smells so good in here. Yes, oh. indeed. And every flavor here at Henry Starlight Scoops has a space theme name to it. So it's shooting starberry rather than strawberry. So little things like that. And all our kids are shooting starberries. Oh, very good. Okay. I can turn a phrase. Okay. <laughs> Henry was a personal dear friend of John Glenn and um, John Glenn actually took the Give Kids the World flag up into space as it says here on board the Space Shuttle Discovery in 19. And that's the actual flag, huh? Mm -hmm. That's it. That is absolutely beautiful. Isn't it amazing. That flag has been to a place yes. where not many men have come gone before. That is exactly amazing. Right. And then we have a lovely, very cool space for the families to be able to sit and enjoy their ice cream creations. Space 220, you ain't got nothing on this. That's right, that's right. <laughs> and of course, you gotta have a toppings bar because if you got ice cream and you're a kid, you need a little bit of everything, including purple sprinkles and chocolate moon rocks. Let me show you all the chocolate moon rocks. Let's go up there. Look at that, it's actually looking like moon rocks. <laughs> It looks a lot like moon rocks. But let me tell you something. She said, if you're a kid and you need toppings, uh, I'm a grown man and I want my toppings. Exactly. I want my Christmas sprinkles, for example. Fair. Very fair. <laughs> I get Christmas you. Christmas sprinkles. This is the castle at Give Kids the World. Okay. I'll call you after the chef in touch space. Just for sure. I'm good. Look at this. Look at this. And you wanna know something? There's a star for all the stars. That's exactly right. There are thousands and thousands of stars. You see, here at the village, each child is given a star, and that child can write their name or design that star however they want to. They get then get to turn in that star. Stellar, our star fairy, takes their star and places it in the galaxy. And then the kids and their families get to come back and see where Stellar has placed their star. Oh, that is beautiful. Amazing. beautiful. And so our, yeah. our shining stars have their own shining star. And it's such a special moment when families come back because families, alumni families, get to visit the, the village twice. Yeah a year for a day. They can come in and have the village experience all over again for a day. And a lot of them come back to see their Wish Kids star. And the amazing team here can find their star for them. And uh, it's just a wonderful, a wonderful thing to see them come back and, and see those stars again. Let me show you all the ceiling real quick. This is breathtaking. Look at this. This is all stars representing Kids, and they're still fiddling out of space right here. So look at that. All right, as we continue through the Castle of Miracles, and truly it is a, a Castle of Miracles, we have our wishing well. Because we do and, believe. And Jennifer, I would love for you to do something. Sure. Uh, could you, I'm gonna give you a coin. Okay. And you're gonna make a wish, and then you're gonna listen after you make your wish and toss your coin in. Listen to hear your coin as it drops. Oh, okay. So you gotta make your wish. So make the wish first. Okay. So should I close my eyes? Just keep it. Totally up to you. Drop your okay. coin into the wishing well and see what happens. Oh. Oh my goodness. You hit somebody. I, 
wonder who that was. Yes. This truly is a magical wishing well, Jennifer. I hope that wish comes true for you. We now have Buttons Tree. See here at the, at the village, we have a squirrel named Buttons. He has white, fluffy fur. And it's not every day that you see a white, fluffy furred squirrel. But his name is Buttons and he lives here in this tree. And he has a special gift for each and every child in each family. I'm not gonna spoil the magic though and tell you what it is. You'll just have to come and visit Buttons one day. And he's, I guarantee with that name, he's as cute as a button. Oh, he is a button. Hey Ron and Jennifer, this is our star tower. Wow. Look at this. Look I mean, look at, her, look at my wife's face. She is completely mesmerized because look at this. Y'all can come with us. That's why we get the camera equipment so you can see stuff like this. So more stars get added all the way to the top. Sorry if you're dizzy, because this is a little dizzy, but I just want to show you the sheer amount. Of, each star represents a kid, and that represents a, a set of memories that that kid has from this experience. And to, also, when you look at this, the first thing that comes into mind is look at all the children that have been here and been in this magical place. It's literally like it brings tears to your eyes because this is such a happy place, yeah. such a magical place. Amen. And all the work they do to put smiles, lifetime of smiles and memories on people's faces. It doesn't get any better than this. And so, who is this up here? That is Tom Foolery. You know, every castle needs a court jester, and he's ours. Oh, okay, that's That what's is up. cute. And that is adorable. And he gets his own phone, too. Jennifer, do you like riding carousels? I love riding carousels. You have something in common with the Wish Kids because awesome. they love riding carousels oh. too. This is our enchanted carousel wow. that literally any kid with any ability can ride. We have wow. It's fully accessible. We have two animals on the carousel wow. who are accessible and oh. they love it. And That's I cannot tell beautiful. you how fun it is to walk out of a building and see the carousel Aww. moving in the morning, in the evening. See, a lot of the families are in the theme parks right now, Yeah. but they come and they ride it in the morning and in the evening, Aww. and it's so much fun to see. Yeah. When yeah. we came here in the morning, they had people on the carousel, they had kids and adults on the carousel. Yeah. And look at that, it's underneath the mushroom. Mm -hmm. um, look at this, mm -hmm. it's just awesome. Yeah. Makes me wanna go play Mario Bros because the mushroom's red and white, but that's right? beside the point. <laughs> This is the gingerbread house. This is where our families eat their meals. Now, it used to be that they would be served their meals in the gingerbread house. They would eat their meals there. But really, the demand for families being able to come here, the mission grew and grew and grew. And so the town hall needed to be built. Let's go. So this houses a little bit of everything from administrative offices to a multi-purpose space called the Hoppin' In Place to Cafe Clayton where they can pick out the meal that they would like to eat. Aww. And then they go to the gingerbread house to sit and eat. Let's step inside. The kids can be kids in all types of ways, even writing chalk on the ground, yeah. I mean, on the concrete. You know, that's just awesome. Look at this, make a wish here. They are artists and they love to leave their mark. This is really interesting. So this is really interesting. This is a box with chalk. So I see the chalk, and they can write on anything they want over here, huh? Mm -hmm. That is awesome. And then I see there's books. Yes. Aww. So those are little blending libraries. There are those boxes throughout the village, and you can take a book, and you can read it, and then you can place it back in here. And it says Wendy's Little Library. This is the town hall branch. And, and all of this is done by volunteers and by donation. That is so right? awesome. Oh. The, just the sheer, yes, the devil's in the details, but the sheer amount of just the tiniest mm -hmm. things that can bring a, a sense of happiness and a sense of pride yeah. to a kid. Yep. And their families. Absolutely. And the this, box itself reflects the town hall. Yes. Oh. And it does um, all coincide visually. Yes, it does. All right, let's step inside. So this is Town Hall, and we have Hoppin' in Place here to the 
left, and every morning here in Hoppin and Place, we have theme park characters Aww. who stop by the village just for the opportunity to meet the Wish Kids and their families. It's a wonderful thing because then they don't have to worry once those families are in those theme parks. Mm -hmm. Because for a lot of them, just being in a theme park mm -hmm. can be challenging. Correct. It's their first time there. I mean, you know. As an adult, it's uh, overwhelming. It is, absolutely. And so we take the pressure off that family doesn't have to worry about meeting a character in the theme park. They can meet their new BFF right here in the Hoppin' in Place and then head off to the parks to enjoy the attractions. That's awesome. And maybe see their BFFs again. And That's tell them exactly, it's exactly. Like, I saw you there, now I see you here. That's right, That's Aaron. Beautiful. We're gonna step into Cafe Clayton now. Aww. Look at this, by the way. Look at some of those Thank statues. Sorry about that. Thank you, appreciate it, sir. Isn't that beautiful? Look That's at this. on the outside. Yeah. So as we're going by, I noticed the sign that says Mayor Clayton's surprise birthday party. You know, it's funny that you take note of that, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Very good. Every Wednesday and behind the scenes, y'all are here on a Wednesday. So okay. every Wednesday is Mayor Clayton's birthday. Oh. And every Wednesday, you get to, if you're here as a wish kid or a family, you get to celebrate Mayor Clayton's birthday. And Miss oh. Mary likes to throw him a surprise party. And every single Wednesday, he's surprised. It's just, oh, isn't that funny? Oh, he just is always. That. So every Monday is Halloween, and we have a giant Halloween party for the kids. We love Halloween. Night. Every Thursday, the holidays roll into the village. And so the kids get to celebrate with the Winter Wonderland party on Thursday nights. Uh -huh. It's a whole lot of fun. Every single night, there's a themed party for the Wish Kids and their families. That is beautiful. Yeah. That and, is beautiful. and let me tell you, to, to be able to celebrate all types of celebrations in that short amount of time, I, I, I could just imagine every night's a new adventure. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. It absolutely is. Every night's a party. Hey Clayton, it's quiet now because it's in between mealtime. The families can come and get something hot, something cold, whatever they want. They can even get grab and go meals to grab on their way to the parks or to have for later. And um, we have both Coke and Pepsi here for the families. In fact, it's the only branding that you'll find here at the village because it's important to know do they have Pepsi or do they have Coca-Cola? Yes, because mm -hmm. it's a fight alone. It People is. say, I like Coke better. I like Pepsi. Why do you like Coke better? Exactly. No, Coke is better. Pepsi's better. It's, right. it's well, always an everyday struggle. they don't have to make that choice trouble. here. Yes. They can do both. Oh, they, they want to mix, I they love can that. do both. Right. We're going to step into the gingerbread house. Here in the gingerbread house, the family sit at kid height tables. That's something that Henry was really passionate about. He wanted everything catered to the child, and the parents would find a way. They, they would be just fine, because it's all about the kids in that moment. The peppermints that you see in these tables, Jennifer, these were placed by our amazing volunteers. Wow. Every single one unwrapped and placed. And they're real peppermints. And they are real peppermints. That's awesome. All right, just another little trivia about our peppermints. Over 84,000 peppermint candies wow. were used to cover the tables here in the gingerbread house. Wow. Now, that's, that's now, now that makes me want a, a peppermint. I know. I know. It, it makes, makes you want a peppermint. Water, doesn't mm -hmm. it? it does. <laughs> it's, the place is beautiful. Yeah. So what's amazing about being in here is all these tables are for the children and fully accessible. That's exactly right. We've got some accessible tables wow. here toward the outskirts awesome. of the room. How cool is that? Hey, Aaron and Jennifer, what mm -hmm. are you feeling like? A, I mean, it's a little warm today. It's central it's a Florida. How about a dip in the pool? Oh, yes. Oh. All right, let's go take let's a, go a look at the Park of Dreams pool. I will. And literally... It is the pool of your dreams. It's a zero entry, fully accessible pool. We even have wheelchairs that can enter the water. So everyone in every family gets to take part. And we have a giant pirate ship named the Serendipity 2 that has a gigantic screen. So literally you can swim and you can catch a little movie. It's that a dive awesome. in movie, really. That is mm -hmm. awesome. Dive in, yeah. guys. We also have Jack's Wacky Water Works oh. here. Right it's an amazing splash pad. 
I so want to go running through that thing. I was about to say, it's a hot day today. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I think we'll get in trouble if we do that. We also have Noah's Nook here at the pool where they can get snacks and ices, and a lot of families say that's their favorite thing to do, Aww. is just visit the Nook and that's swim in the pool. Awesome. This is an old friend here at the village. This is old Elmer, our willow tree. But let's be quiet, because he's taking a nap. In fact, he sleeps all the time. Yes, he's a very sleeping tree. Um, but O. Elmer is an icon for the kids that are here. They love him, from he's what I understand. And they too. got the plaque here saying, Aww. O. Elmer has been here for many years. He grew up on this spot. He used to be qu quite active, but now he sleeps a lot. He dreams of searching for his roots through rain and snow and fog. They must be pleasant dreams because he's sleeping like a log. Aww. So, Jennifer and Aaron, we have found ourselves at Matthew's Boundless Playground. And Literally, it is boundless for kids of all abilities uh, to be able to come and enjoy. They can, they, there are ramps, everything is accessible here. So from the swings to the slides, there's someone, something here for everyone. Oh. Isn't it this fun? Is gorgeous. Look at this, Fine. and Look like she this. said, they call it boundless. It's a playground without, um, without limits. Mm -hmm. yeah. And let me tell you something, the fact that kids that are Ape with different abilities can come ride around here, roll around here, crawl around here, climb around here, and everything to come do these activities. Yep. It's just it's a wonderful, amazing. beautiful this thing. Beautiful. Right, Jen, Jen? Absolutely beautiful. Yes. They did a beautiful job with this. And by the way, side note, this is so soft. So if a kid it even has. falls. I was just about to say that. <laughs> nice and squishy. Oh, mm -hmm. so you can fall by mistake, you know, or mm -hmm. by accident you go down the slide and you literally pick yourself right back up. With Who no says by accident? When it's this, this soft, is you really just feel nice. like falling down. You can just take a nap on this thing. This is how comfortable <laughs> yeah. it is. Safety is one of our mm -hmm. operating principles, our guidelines here, and we live by it. It's It's... Uh, super important and so we don't want her out. We have a local farm, a ranch, who brings out horses twice Aww. a week and every kid who wants to gets to ride a pony Aww. here at the village and just the memories, you talked about memories mm -hmm. earlier and the memories that are made here at the village, to watch some of those memories unfold mm -hmm. in front of you just passing by the corral when the horses are here is stunning. It's priceless. Mm -hmm. We're about to step into the memory market. This is where you can find all things Kid Kids of World merchandise. Ooh. And the amazing team here. Hello, Miss Debbie. Incredible job. You can have a little bit of everything, and they really are so thoughtful to only carry things that the families really, really, really want. And every single penny of every single purchase here in this shop and in our online shop remains here in the village. That's awesome. So what we're going to do is have Jen model her shirt. Mm -hmm. And my husband, Very I'm nice. going to have my husband model his in a little bit too. Mm -hmm. So don't mind me. I was, it's a little hot today. So let me <laughs> even this out Central a little Florida, bit. Jennifer. That's, That's true. It is Central Florida. But so. where happiness inspires hope. This is a beautiful, beautiful shirt. I saw this and I said, That's my shirt when we came here yesterday. Also, this is another amazing thing for all the people that collect ornaments. Like us, we bought our first Give Kids the World ornament. This is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. And they have another one too, which I think you mentioned this is yep. one of the, this is, says Give Kids the World on it. Yep, that's our snow globe ornament. Aww, that beautiful. That's beautiful. Also, where can it get this at? So we can go on the website and we can also purchase exactly. the ornaments and the t-shirts and some merchandise here. And again, it all goes to the village. That's right. So can, this is amazing. You can find a link uh, to the shop on our site, gktw.org. Also, let me turn them around for a second and you can see me. Lovely. No, there it is. Right here. <laughs> so we're going to model my husband's shirt. Beautiful. Established 1986, inspiring hope. Give Kids the World, Florida. Absolutely beautiful. And yes, we couldn't wait to purchase our shirts here yesterday when we were taking our tour around. And this place is just magical. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And guess what? I don't want to take it off, but it's got it, it's got to be washed at some point, right? <laughs> it is. It's one of those shirts you do not want to take off. That's true. And bring it everywhere you go. Yes. Right now, we're in front of Henry Starlight Scoops, the ice cream and shake store. We just saw it a little while ago. 
we want to tell you something very awesome about this place. So let me go back to these beautiful people. Hey there. So on Henry Starlight mm -hmm. Scoops, the amazing creative minds behind Walt Disney Imagineering and Universal Creative came together to create this venue. Wow. It was a beautiful wow. collaboration and we're so proud of what they created. So we would like to thank all the, all the partners, mm -hmm. no matter what their background is, we thank them for coming together to provide such an awesome place for these wonderful, wonderful kids and helping give them the world. Well, and along with all of those partners, we count you two as Thank partners you. as well. You Thank have you. stepped Thank into you. that role. Thank you. You are helping Thank to share honored. the mission of the village. Yeah. And we're so glad to be able to have you here today. And to have you who are watching, we are so glad to have you tuning in today because now you know a little bit more about the village and you can mm -hmm. tell others. Truly, truly, we cannot do this without you. Correct. So thank you. Correct. And I think literally like just to be here and take this all in and just really like just to just to really be here and be part of this and be able to spread um the mission of what you guys are trying to accomplish and you know giving these families and children like a lifetime of memories and that's really what it's about it doesn't get any better than this whether it's time here mm -hmm. donating time whether it's donating money what it's donating just like just being here mm -hmm. you know and whatever you can do to help it's very important so we're gonna link all the information below all that they need to do is go to gktw.org you will find links to volunteer okay. so you'll find links to our orientation to our volunteer application okay. once you've gone through the process you can pick your volunteer shifts literally okay. remember we can't do this without our volunteers okay. but also if you want to donate we can't do it without our donors as well you Correct. can find links to donate you can even become a monthly donor if you'd awesome. like to okay. um, or if your organization or your company wants to donate you can find links to that okay. as well on our okay. site you can find a links to our amazing special events that we have okay. from over the edge to the gingerbread run 5k and fun run that we hold okay. here in the village you get to run roll or stroll through the village okay. along with our amazing characters like it's so much fun we have wonderful events happening throughout the year and you can find all of that information including the story of the village so if you're just wanting to share with someone hey let me just let me look at the story alone. Let me learn about Henry Landworth. Let me learn about how the village uh, came to be. You can find that on the website as well. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, it my is honest, honestly, this has been such an inspiring and just magical trip. And we're going to link all the information below if anyone wants to go to their annual gala. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Or yep. they can just donate if they'd like to. Yep. GKTW.org. Mm -hmm. okay. You'll find links to all that information, including information about the gala. Awesome. Well, we hope to see you in New Orleans when you guys come visit. So we definitely are honored to help spread the word, you know, and your mission here at Give Kids the World Village. And we can't wait to definitely see you guys in the future and definitely help raise funds to make more magic happen. So we are gonna say goodnight from Give Kids the World. Thank you to the beautiful and amazing Miss Denny for literally- Bless you. <laughs> but literally, no blessings needed, the truth. <laughs> no, and that's the truth. Uh, for lit literally um, allowing us to be part of this, help spread the love and the positivity this place here is all about. And we can't thank you enough and uh, we're excited to be back. Well, thank you Again. so much for coming. Thank Truly, you. we like to say here at The Village that The Village creates the happiness that inspires hope. And that's what you all have done here today. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you.